Okay, aloha <clears throat> and mahalo for joining us for another video. This is going to be about parallel and perpendicular lines and they give us a cool code that we can use here on pages 18 and 19 to determine if lines are parallel or perpendicular. Let me just visually show you something first. If I have two lines that are parallel, I know I didn't do a very good job drawing that, but you see if they're parallel and let's say on this line I determine that the rise over run is 1 over 3, okay? Guess what? On this line here, the rise over run is going to be the same thing, 1 over 3. The thing that will be different is the y-intercept. This crosses here, this crosses here. So the y-intercept is different, but the slopes will be the same if they're, per if they're parallel. If I have a perpendicular line. So let me erase this one. And let's say I draw a line perpendicular to this one. So it goes that direction. So it forms a right angle there. Guess what? The rise over the run is going to be the 3 over 1. So if this one is 1 over 3, this one will be 3 over 1. And it's actually going down, so it's negative 3 over 1. So we call it the opposite reciprocal, okay? So if you take this slope, flip it upside down, and change the sign, and you have this, then we would say those two lines are perpendicular, okay? Um, so what they do is they give you two, two equations, and they say find the slope of each. They want you to graph both of them, and um, I guess in the process, find out whether they are parallel or perpendicular. So remember that the slope, we could say, is negative a over b. So that would be a quick way of doing this. This one's already in the ax plus by equals c, so that one's good. I can take the x over the y. So the 1 over the 3, change it to its opposite, and that is the slope. This one, I need to do 2 thirds x, okay? Bring the y over, so minus y equals zero. So then to determine the slope, we're gonna do the 2 thirds over x, or over the y, which is negative one, okay? So that's going to give me negative thir two thirds, but then I need to do the, the opposite of that because it's negative a over b. So two thirds a over the b gives me negative two thirds, but then I need to change it to positive. So this one, the slope is positive two thirds. Now, are those the same? And the answer is, no, they're not the same. So it is not, they're not going to be parallel. And one is not the opposite reciprocal, so it's not even perpendicular, okay? But now they want us to graph both of these lines, okay? So this one, um, I, I like, I mean, this is the easiest form right here, you know, plus B, which in this case is zero. So here's your slope, two thirds. It crosses at zero, zero. So that was an easy one to graph, okay? And then the X plus three Y equals nine. We know the slope is negative one third, but let's put this into that. Remember that Y equals MX plus B form? So if I leave the Y here, Take the x to the other side, and now we'll divide by 3. So y equals negative 1 third x plus 3. So I reduce the 9 thirds and I get 3. Look, negative 1 third, there it is, same slope. Okay, see the cool thing about math, it always works. So there's all these different 
tools and techniques and you know, all these different formulas, but you keep coming up with the same answer if you do it correctly, okay? <clears throat> From here, I know that this is, I'm gonna need this slope in order to graph it. And then this tells me that I'm gonna use the point zero three to find the starting point on the graph, all right? So if I was graphing this, I would go up here to zero three and then use the slope negative one, so down one over three, down one over three. Connect those dots and you have a line. So they want you to graph both of these lines on the same graph. All right, so this is kind of a wrap it up for this section right before the checkup. There's four of these. So they want you to find the slope for both of them, graph both lines on the coordinates. And then, Check everything, and you're ready to do the checkup on pages 20 and 21. And then we'll have to come back and talk about section three at another time because it's getting too late for me tonight. So I hope you do well, and I hope these videos have uh, been somewhat helpful for you as you work through this PACE 1123. Good night. Aloha.